Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever planner DIY, I think, on my channel. So it all started with these stencils right here that I used in my plan with me a couple of weeks ago. You guys absolutely loved these stencils and I thought it might be a cool idea to create your own custom stencils. So it's probably a good idea to look through your planner at previous spreads to see if there are any shapes that you use a lot of. For me personally, I use a lot of these page flags and circle shapes too. And then you can do something that I think all of us planners love doing, which is to make a list. So I've just write down everything that I wanted to include in my stencil. If you're not used to creating things for your own planner, it's probably a good idea just to measure your boxes to see how wide and long they are. And then I went through and just wrote down measurements of all of the different shapes to make sure they weren't going to be too big for my planner. So I'm using a piece of really thick card and I'm just using one of the credit cards or store cards and you can just cut them out and this way all of your stencils are going to be the same shape. I decided to keep mine quite small and that way they were just more easy to store and kind of use in a planner. And the first easy way to create stencils is obviously to use different hole punches. You can find these everywhere, most craft shops will have them. I've found some in a charity shop or thrift store, whatever you want to call them, like this one here which is a kind of a border. So just keep your eyes open wherever you go for different hole punches. The only thing with using these hole punches is that it will only go so far onto your template. So if you're using a rectangle like I am, you're going to have a lot of waste in the middle. Another thing to look out for are rulers because they quite often have these kind of shapes or numbers and letters on them, especially children's rulers, and they are always really good to create geometric shapes. I'm just using a small craft knife to cut this out that the camera did not want to focus on. If you don't have any hole punches or fancy readers, you can always find things around your own home that you can draw around. I've just chose these ones to draw different size circles, but I'm sure if you look around you can find lots of different shapes. Another idea is that you can use some stickers that are letters that you can draw around and cut out if you would like to have letters on your stencil. I did go back at the end and just neaten up any of these rough edges and that way when you draw around your stencils they'll be nice and smooth. To create my checklist I just hole punched some stars and then drew little rectangles that will create the lines for my checklist. Another idea for stencils is you can use the plastic packaging that comes in most things that you would normally buy. I just drew around the same card to keep them all the same shape. I drew around the card with a dry whiteboard pen and that way I can rub it off and there's no lines or marks left on my template. If you're going to freehand some banners like I am then it's definitely a good idea to use these dry whiteboard markers because you can just rub it off if you make a mistake. You can just cut these out exactly the same way and you can hole punch them as well. Once I'd finished all of my stencils I just hole punched the top left of each one and then put them onto this little clip. This clip keeps everything together and you can also clip it onto your coil or your ring of your planner. These stencils are really good to use in your actual planner or you can use them in your bullet journal or you can even use them to leave pretty little notes. Obviously the ones made out of plastic are going to last you a little bit longer and the ones made out of card are going to dirty up quicker with using pens and different colours on them. But being made out of card and doing them yourself it means that you can change them up any time that you want to. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick DIY. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more DIYs on my channel or if you don't feel like being very chatty but you would still like to see more then make sure you hit the thumbs up button so I know to film some more. I hope you guys are having a really lovely week and I will see you on Monday. Bye guys!